Now my first France away jersey is probably also one of the most fa famous ones. It's again a Zidane and it's the headbutt jersey. But I always say this is also the one that he wore in his wonderful display against Brazil. Probably the best Zidane we've ever seen at the World Cup. Uh, it clearly is 2006 with all these weird shapes thrown around here. And this one, as you will maybe notice, I got it eBay and it has, I have uh, original ones. It has the same material. I think this is just um, throwaway where just the uh, cutting did not work. It looks a little bit off. Look at the color. This is not quite centered here because this one is a little bit off. And also if I look at the bottom, it's not super perfect, but it looks perfect enough fine enough to me and that's why I got it for cheap. Uh, of course I noticed those things uh, quite quickly and yeah that this was what you get when you order from Asia. Back then I didn't know I think this nowadays I would look much closer onto things like that and probably not order all the way uh, from overseas although they also sell sometimes some good products. I, I also made some good experience with that. Uh, the material, it was the Adidas material of the time, which was very thin and always all featured this pin strapping all over. Uh, actually, it was nice to wear. And of course, here you have again this button, which is shines very nicely uh, to make an original. And the color of this one and of all most of the Adidas shirts was kind of this weird color that... Um, yeah, almost Mandarin style, but not fully because a Mandarin style would go a little bit closer here. It just opens here and then you have this big, big opening. It was a really weird look back then, but every team was wearing it. I always liked the number font. It reminded me of a track and had a little bit of this classic feel, but also its own character. Of course, Federation logo. And so when the front looks really, really nice. And I also like how you have the French flag in this uh, striping pattern there that's also fade. So uh, maybe there could have been a little bit more fade to make it a little bit more French flag. Maybe even make the gap, gap here. And the other thing that's always interesting is you have here on the sleeves blue, red, blue. As they always had for French jersey. But look how red dominates the front. Even here on the sleeve cuffs and blue is the dominant color on the back and one reason why I, these the 2006 shirts I got with numbers is because with this weird shape here on the back that kind of holds the number having it blank looks odd and yeah it was a really nice I think I liked the font a lot back then and yeah this is my sedan you have the number 10 again you have again uh, weird shapes thrown all over uh, those are the ones that I would do without um, this one, at least this one I would get rid of and the one here on the sides I don't like very much. Uh, I'm fine with the one here, probably can live with this one too. But yeah, I like how it's kind of this Jekyll and Hyde jersey. Maybe there could have been something done with a little bit more red. I always wonder why not make this red or can we make the play on name red or something like that. It's just that uh, it looks on the front red dominant but with blue it has the nice it has a nice balance with red and blue on the front but it doesn't have it on the back ah yeah and then there's a teeny 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 french flag here uh, it is to be honest i love this jersey because it is the zidane jersey from probably his best showing at the world cup uh, there's also this team geist logo that all of the adidas jerseys had yeah uh, because it's the Zidane jersey uh, is also his most famous one. I mean, the head, but no one will ever forget. Um, I just think it looks dated now because it has not a cl really classic look to it. Uh, it's just famous. And for that reason, yeah, I wear it, I, I wear it frequently, but it is not on the top of my list any anymore. And I think it's more to the fact that it's a little bit off, but also the design, as I said, looks a little bit dated. Well, 
let me know what you think about this jersey. Probably some younger ones of you have even better memories. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.